All right, so next up, let's talk Wisconsin, James Madison, one of the more trendy upset picks in most people's brackets. But let's focus on Wisconsin first. All right, 22 and 13, fifth in the Big Ten, went on a really good run in the Big Ten tournament in particular. But let's look at Wisconsin's schedule a little bit. All right, non conference wise, you've got a 10 point loss to Tennessee. Uh, that's a good loss. Tennessee is a two seed. You've got a loss to Providence. Providence kind of on that bubble line. Uh, so not the worst loss, but also you would hope you could beat a team not in the tournament. You know what I mean? Uh, you were one of Virginia's many 20-point 20, <laughs> 20 losses, so that's a good win there. Uh, you've got a win over Marquette, okay? Marquette, another two seed. Uh, super good win there for Wisconsin. Kind of shows you what they're capable of. Win over Michigan State. That's another tournament team. Now, you've got a 25-point loss to Arizona here. Uh, pretty big loss, but Arizona is a good team, so it could have just been one of those nights, you know. Uh, wins over Nebraska, Ohio State, and Iowa. Nebraska tournament team, Iowa and Ohio State kind of on that bubble line. Uh, you've got a win over Northwestern. That's a really good win. I think Northwestern's a really good basketball team. Boo Booey, Kimball. Lost to Penn State. Penn State not even more close to the tournament. Uh, wins over Michigan State. Let's see. Lost to Nebraska, Purdue. Those are both good losses. Can't knock them there. Now, Michigan and Rutgers, I can knock you because both those teams are not very good. Uh, let's see. Lost to Iowa again. Lost to Indiana. Illinois, that's not a bad loss. Lost to Purdue again. Then they go on a nice run in the Big Ten tournament, probably hitting their peak at the right time. I've been a little iffy on Wisconsin all year, but they kind of looked like they were getting rolling in the Big Ten tournament. Looked really good against Northwestern and Purdue, and for most part against Illinois as well. Uh, so I think they're kind of finally getting up to their potential. But going into the tournament, as far as the Big Ten tournament is concerned, I was a little iffy. But their reward is 12 seed James Madison, 31 and 3, second in the Sun Belt, 30 wins. They're the team that beat Michigan State at the beginning of the year, were kind of the talk of college basketball. All right, so let's look at their schedule. All right, Michigan State went over them in overtime, huge win there to start the year. Uh, they don't have too many like super bad losses, really. Like, for example, Appalachian State, they lost to twice. Appalachian State, not many people know this. Appalachian State beat Auburn. Okay, so that's not a bad loss by any means. Appalachian State probably should have been in the field, to be honest with you. Uh, I had them in mind because that went over Auburn, super impressive to me, especially with Auburn winning the uh, SEC championship. But James Madison is legit. Like, I think there's a reason this is a Trinity upset pick. It's definitely possible for James Madison to ultimately upset Wisconsin. Now, the real question is which Wisconsin do you get? Do you get the team to beat Marquette? the team that closed out the year in the Big Ten tournament, if that team come to play, they can beat they can beat this team. They can beat James Madison easy. Because, uh, you know, they beat Michigan State a lot worse than James Madison did. But the real question is, which team shows up? Does Wisconsin that lost to Rutgers show up? Or, like I said, the team that went on that run in the Big Ten tournament? As for James Madison, really good year. Like, you just couldn't beat Appalachian State. You know I mean? That's your, that's your main downfall. Well, good news is you're not playing Appalachian State. James Madison... James Madison can go. All right, I think they are a potential upset pick here. That 5-12 matchup, you know, is always iffy. Uh, I think James Madison can take this team. As of right now, out of my latest bracket, I had Wisconsin winning this game. But this is really a coin flip for me. I think this is one of the tougher matchups to decide, obviously, if you're picking your bracket. And I really don't know. This is a coin flip. Uh, I'm going to lean Wisconsin barely because I think they have more upside but like I said, they also have more up and down comparing to James Madison, which is steady Eddie. Uh, it's going to depend on which, which Wisconsin shows up. All right, are they so high? Do they give everything they had in that Big Ten tournament, or you know, can they use that to go on a run? I think they can, but I think this game is going to come down to the wire. I've got Wisconsin winning by less than five points. I think this game is going to be down to the wire. Like I said, really close game, could go either way. But who do you have winning this game? I've got Wisconsin by, like I said, less than five, probably a really close game. Let me know who you think wins and why down in the comment section. Also, if you see this little ticker down below me, I am hosting a tournament group on ESPN Tournament Challenge to join. If you join, obviously, by the time the brackets or by the tournament play starts, all you got to do is go to the community tab on my channel, click the link. It'll be the first post. Join there. First place winner gets a free AG t shirt. All you got to do is be a subscriber. But let me know who you think wins this game and why down in the comment section. Like this video and subscribe.